Hey everybody, this is Jan from an Alaskan Crafter. How's everybody doing today? Well, we're doing pretty good here. It's a bit cloudy, so it's muggy. It's not quite 70, and I know for some folks that's like, oh, that's just winter weather. Yeah, but it's muggy. So you just kind of get that little extra bleh. So today is Wednesday, so Wednesday equals Whip Wednesday. I've got a couple whips, and uh, one will be a year-long whip. As uh, we all know, the Multivalence from Expression Fiber Arts uh, releases a section of her pattern or the pattern of the Multivalence once a month. And I am... I guess you could say almost caught up, but I do have a dilemma. Okay, so I was here the last time you saw, so I got section uh, six, no, five, six, and seven, most of seven done which they're changing colors. Uh, the pattern says to change colors, but I'm I'm just doing three colors. Uh, let's see, did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. I, I thought I was right for once. Um, my dilemma is this color here that I'm working with right now it's called Mushroom, and neither one of my stores carry it. So, <clears throat> I am either, <clears throat> excuse me, either going to have to see if I can find it online, or uh, just pick a different color, which I'm kind of leaning more towards just picking a different color and getting it done and over with, because it's kind of the oddball color. The other one is lilac and thistle. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I change my mind quite often. But, uh, here it is so far. Which, I'm liking it okay. I love the pattern. If I do it again, I'm... I'm I think I would do it in different, brighter colors. Uh, the camera is, I don't think, because it's kind of weird, the shadows I get. Um, when I'm looking at it right here, the thistle and lilac look real good. The mushroom, you know, it's... It's really weird because in some lights it has a purple hue to it, and in other lights it doesn't. Um, but it would be a purple, ah, uh, purple. It would be a pretty mushroom. <clears throat> and yes, I like my mushrooms. My fungi. So that is whip number one. And like I said, it's, it'll be going for the year. The next whip I'm doing, I'm, um, doing a baby blanket. And I'm not sure if... I will continue or or frog it and make it smaller because I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's a big baby blanket. Or will be a big baby blanket. But it's Cascade Mercerized Cotton. You guys have seen this before. The blanket that I was making with it, mm, it just... It just wasn't coming out how I thought it was going to come out. And it wasn't real drapey. It was real stiff. And I'm sure once you washed it, it'd probably get a little more drapey. But, so what I am doing. Okay, it goes this way. How can you tell? Because your working yarn is on the right side. Okay, basically, I believe you call it garter stitch. This is the border, and it's all knit, and this is uh, one-way knit, one-way purl. So, um, 
but it is really long, y'all. I mean, this is uh, from tip to tip of my crochet hooks. I believe it's like 42, 40 something inch. And yeah, that's, I mean, it's definitely bunching up down at the bottom. Um, and if I keep going the way I'm going, I probably won't have enough yarn unless I flip it and make it like this is the long wise. Does that make sense? You know, and then just make it short. It has a border built in. Uh, oh, ends, ends, ends. On the sides, it has a border here, border on the other side also. And there's a border at the top at the bottom. Like I said, it's built in. So there is that one. And if I have to frog it, I'm not sad because, you know, I'm still learning and trying to get, oops, sorry, trying to get the uh, knit down pack. Okay. So this is not finished either. So yes, whip. Y'all remember just a couple weeks ago, uh, Seta, Laura, and myself did a live with our challenge of hookah versus hookah versus hookah. And we did the wall hanging. And I had said that I was going to make a normal sized wall hanging. Well, so far, this is what I've got done. If you have not seen the live, go over to Mad Mimi Crochet and Farming, La Laura's channel, and find the live. My um, wall hanging, I literally had to way back up from the camera. I couldn't do it in this room because, um, <laughs> oh, I was showing you on the wrong side. Sorry, guys. So there, oh, sorry about that. Okay, so here's the side with the baubles, and there's your diamonds. Like I was saying, on the live, I could not do it in my room because I wouldn't have space enough um, to do it. My room is not that big, so doing it outside, I had to keep backing up when people were coming in. I want to see. So, go back and take a peek at that, and you'll see the big difference. When I'm done with that one, I'll do a comparison. Now, this is the big one, and this is the little one. Because, yes, there's a huge comparison. So, with that one, oh, the multivalence, I am using a Clover 4.0 uh, hook. And with the blanket, I am using a 5.0 millimeter uh, Clover bamboo hooks. Uh, not hooks, needles. Uh, with the uh, wall hanging, I'm using sugars and cream. In, and how they say this is bright navy, I have no idea. It's navy, but there's nothing bright about it. There we go. Can you focus? Will you focus? And that's not even... The, oh, yes, it is. Bright navy. Well, I'm not sure it's going to focus bright navy and then just cream so there is that and I will probably well no that'll be an FO Mad Mimi did pick her hat hashtag bod had a palooza go over and see her uh, hashtag bod, bod had a palooza video and see what beanie we're doing this week Okay, y'all, again, there's going to be some batch videoing, so I'll be in this lovely gray garb, my prison garb. Anyhow, you guys take care. Have a great day, and we'll see y'all later. Bye now. Remember, sprinkle kindness.